Welcome everybody to our academy game against Oklahoma Christian Esports. Today we got our three members, um, Shadowish, Nightshade, and uh, Craigster. Craigster, the Craigster, exactly. And uh, we're gonna be going for a best of three, I think. Against uh, is it usually a best of three? Is it a series oh, between it's, the it's two teams? Best, it's best of five, technically. Best of five. Okay, it's so three to win. So okay, I once got you. you win three games, you're, you you win. I got you. All right, so. We're going to be having that, and we're also going to be having our academy team do a double header today, so stay varsity, tuned for that. Varsity team. Varsity team. <laughs> varsity it's team. It's okay, it's okay. We're going to be doing a double header today, so stay tuned for that as well. But um, I'm your host, Taku, and uh, this is... I'm Rainbow Beats. And we are here to present you uh, the academy game between Shawnee State Esports and Chris uh, Oklahoma Christian Esports. Should be getting into that any second now. Um, I think I think these two teams are probably similar in rank, right? Probably diamond champions. Yeah, they're. I was looking at it earlier, and everyone's like diamond champ. Okay, I got around you. Around the same. Our our boys this uh this season have uh been climbing actually. They uh, last last season when we were playing, they were high diamond, low champ. But I'm pretty sure two of our players are like kind of comfortably into champion right now. So it's yep. gonna be interesting to see how they uh how they play around that chemistry because uh. With Craigster in the mix now, it's like they have a different team chemistry going on. So it's kind of interesting to see how they're really going to gonna come out the gates. I think they get along well, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They honestly do. They're like best buds at this point. <laughs> yeah, they have... I see them all play together a lot. Yeah, they have the chemistry going because they do practice. So it's always oh my nice gosh, to we're in see. The game? But, yep, here we go. The, the first game kicks off here. Um, Nightshade already kind of passing it backwards. And uh, you kind of see the team play going here. Just... Um, trying to um, not pressure the ball too much and uh, ball chase as a lot of diamonds do but um, let's see how they uh, combat this offensive attack clears it forward shadow wish with a nice shot and just gets Oof. a crossbar unfortunately and <laughs> Craigster just flying into the mix completely missing it but um, it happens it yeah happens. It, it, happens. It, it happens it happens to the best of us it happens to the best of Driving us driving is hard sea otter coming out and just getting the uh, the dunk on him, honestly. Shadow was trying to do something here and gets bumped by uh, by Nightshade, unfortunately. 1-0 uh, to Oklahoma with uh, four and a half minutes left. Here we go again. Let's see how uh, they come back from this. Getting a good 50 into the corner of the enemy um, side. Nightshade going for a good demo here. He gets he gets a little bump, but uh, the Craigs are not on goal right now. Ooh, gets a, a demo. good demo, yeah. Gets a gets a good demo, and um, they kind of just played into the corner, which um, it's not really the best move. But Craigster has a good chance to pass it out here. Oh, but Shadowish gets demo here, and uh, gets reset to their goal. All right, is trying to be uh, squishy muffin at the moment, not really succeeding too well. Uh, Shadowish missing the ball, getting 50 into the wall, and. Uh, very ambitious airplanes, I will say. They're yeah, they're in the air. <laughs> the the ground doesn't exist. They're going for it. I don't know. Oh, okay. They're flying. Shadow gravity. is getting a nice touch. Yeah, they're they're just like flying. Honestly, not even with a with an aim at this point. But um, let's see how they recover from this. Shawnee State down a goal right now with three and a half minutes left, and um, not really much coming of it right now. They're kind of just getting pressed down. Like that, like Sea Otter going up for it, just getting a touch, even if it's not really completely in their favor. Wow, just passes it down to the Craigster. Gets touched off, all right. Gets a good touch over. He's gonna try and follow this. Gets a nice little ground pinch, but Shadow Wish is there off the wall. Not really the best touch, gives them another shot. But Nightshade coming through, dribbling it a little bit, 
just sending it high and making it awkward for the for uh, Oklahoma. Sea Otter trying to make something happen here, but Nightshade gets a nice little 50. Uh, Air Jake trying to follow this with two defenders back. Beats Shadow Wish and ooh, the Craigster gets a nice little touch, but can't keep possession of it. This might be a nice shot for Shawnee because, yeah, because yep. um, the Night Nightshade went for a nice little bump there, disrupting the last man back, and the Craigster just getting a nice shot right there, as you can see. Right here, Nightshade comes in, makes him stop, and then the Craigster just has they an just open just read goal. it well. Yeah. That's a just good team play right there because uh, the Craigster knew that Nightshade was going to go for the, the demo or the bump there, so he knew that he would have an open goal. So 1-1, one, one, two and a half minutes left in this first game of best of five. Um... Right now, honestly, Shiny isn't looking too bad. They're they're kind of keeping possession, bumping when needed, touching the ball when needed, passing it when needed. Uh, but ooh, a back backflip there. I don't think it was an, intentional, but uh, that's the Rocket League classic. Just um, pulling the stick back when you jump instead of just letting it go. But um, ooh, Sea Otter with a nice little play here, but uh. The Craigster with a nice little defense. Nightshade is going to have to go for here. He gets a nice little clear, and it might bounce off the wall and be a nice little center for the boys. Oh, it comes back to Nightshade. Gets a nice little touch. Not a goal, but it sets up for the boys. And they cross the bar again. again. <laughs> They're really struggling to keep the ball on the ground at the moment, it seems. But um, hopefully they can recover from this. Oh, Sea Otter getting a nice little touch. He's still on the pressure. Gets a nice little 50 for his teammate, but he doesn't push. Shadow Wish takes the ball here and just kind of plays it off. Here comes Nightshade. Gets another bump. He's been going for those today. He usually goes for the bumps, but um, we're seeing it more here because he's just almost every play that they've gotten a good offense position in, he's gone for the, the, the demo or the bump on the goalkeeper. So let's see if that's going to stay the same and how, the, how Oklahoma is going to... Um, counter that but it's a breakaway here gets a nice little 50 into the corner gonna be awkward for the enemies but they're going for it the Craigster gets a nice little touch he's gonna go for it again I believe oh he completely whiffs it but it was it was on purpose oh shadow wish would have had a good shot there but he unfortunately got demoed um, it's coming back oh my god nightshade misses the the touch but shadow wish luckily respawned just in time what? I hear that in my headphones. Mason, we can hear the camera outside. Mute the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, no cursing. No cursing is out of the window. Uh -oh. oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's why. That's why I was like, we wait. Heard it. I was like, wait, am I am I tripping? But, um, we might be tripping. It's all good. Uh, one one with. Zero seconds left. Let's see if they can keep this in the air, but they actually tried I'd, to just kill it. Only we heard it streamed and hear it, so it's okay. It's because of how it Never works. mind. Nothing happened. No one cursed. <clears throat> Here we go. Overtime <laughs> in the first game. 1-1, one, one, and Nightshade is going off the wall there, not really getting a decent touch. Craigster gets a good 50, followed by Shadow, which I think he's going to turn on this. Gets a nice little clear, and uh, this is looking like an offensive front for Oklahoma. They're getting... Good positioning, good passes, just like that. Ooh, unfortunately, Air Jake wasn't in the right position. But he's still being a menace and just getting good touches. Gets the boost. He's going to completely miss that. But so is the Craigster. Oh, it's popped up. This might be a dunk right here to finish the first game. And he misses. He <laughs> did miss, indeed. Comes back off the wall. This is this is looking kind of stressful for Shawnee. Let's see if they can really... Ooh, the triple commit might be, might be dangerous here, but... It, uh, it's only dangerous if they get it in the goal. Oh, another. That is that is true. That is very true. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that true. is just how it be. If we keep on our defense, that's a that, that would have been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, oh. Ooh, okay, Air Jake's really trying uh, some outlandish stuff here, but we love to see it because it uh, gives us balls to play with. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the Craigster gets a nice little touch forward. Gets a, gets a good touch. Oh. Ooh, but the goalkeeper, Air Jake, gets a nice little block. The ball's still in their side, though, and a nice little demo from Nightshade. Sea Otter is going to be very awkward here, but gets a nice little, gets a nice little jump off the wall, but can't really follow it. Oh my God, this is straight up for Shawnee, but good recovery from uh, from Air Jake, I believe. 
Shadow is going to let this get touched here. And he gets a nice little touch off the back wall. Gives it a pass to the Craigster. Not really a good touch by the Otter. But um, Air Jake plays it forward. Shadow Wish go, going up for it. Gets a nice little touch. But it's straight to Sea Otter. And Sea Otter now getting a nice little touch again. Off the wall. Gets another one to stall it. And sends the Craigster flying. But um, I think it's going to be the end of their offense here. The Craigster are taking the ball into the corner. Two of them committing at the same time. It's going to drop straight down. Ooh, but a good defense by all right. And Shadow Wish with an, another good touch. Sea Otter caught out of position. Air Jake having to do a quick 50. But um, our defense is looking pretty good. All right with a, a whiff there. Um, but this kind of gives Sea Otter a nice chance to just set up the ball in the middle. And he does. And he gets a nice little bump as well. But... Um, Luckily, our defense is um. Yeah, luckily our our boys are great today. Yeah, they're. Ooh, ooh that, that was a little scary. That was a really close one. Unfortunately, mm. not going in for Oklahoma. Two two and a half, two minutes forty five seconds into overtime, one one still in game one here. Let's see who um who's able to break this spell of stalemate. All right, going for a nice little touch, but it's gonna be centered. I think I think yeah, the Craigster gets a nice little touch. Shadow Wish waiting on this. Oh, Nightshade comes in rather. And uh, the ball gets cleared, but I think he's going he's gonna to stop it here. Oh, interesting touch by him. Sea Otter already up for it. Gets a nice little 50 going back to his boy. Air Jake, all right, getting a flip reset and oh, scoring off it. That was, I'm not really sure what happened there. But, I think um, we had, that was a miss at first if you, if you watch this replay. He gets a touch. Oh, we, he he a tried touch. to save it, and then it bumped off Nightshade into the goal yeah, on it. Air Jake, Air Jake got a nice little bump there on... Uh, on one of the boys and he just completely wrong place wrong up. time yeah. kind of thing first game goes to um oklahoma christian esports and um yeah that was that was interesting because um it was a close game the whole time it was 1-1 yeah literally i feel until... like they're like really close to being almost mirrored teams yeah no they, they kind of are because they're both going for aerials and they're both like missing some but also hitting like the crucial ones but um as we saw there like they went into three minutes into overtime so it's we can't really say it's a one-sided game and even the goal that they scored was only because all right was able to get a nice bump so um that was just a small little um detail that they were able to conquer on and uh we lose the first game 1-0 in the series best of five Game two already off and um, already getting a nice shot on goal. Nightshade going high here, but he gets completely blocked. All and right, all right, just cooking. getting um, a goal right off, uh, right off uh, kickoff. Honestly, uh, 15 seconds in, 1-0 Oklahoma Christian Esports. Yeah, all right, all right, and um, Sea Otter seem to be like their main offense players. Air Jake is kind of just a strong anchor. It seems like because he. He's been in defense more. Like he, he's coming out here, but usually he kind of just um, is able to touch the ball faster than uh, our defense here. And they're they're getting a pretty good def uh, offense right here as well. All three of them on Nightshade, but Nightshade able to get out of it, getting the corner boost. Might, he's gonna get beaten here, but it's gonna come straight down to Air Jake. Gets a nice little shot. The Craigs are centering it, unfortunately, but not not a shot on goal. So this isn't a threat wasn't a threat but now it kind of has become a threat and it's all a mess right now and they get bumped but he saves it what a crazy save that by shadowish crazy bump save yeah this is this is becoming very hectic because um oklahoma is not letting up on the gas they're constantly attacking just like that like even if they're not scoring they're just getting these near misses and they're not going to be near misses for long but shadowish with a nice shot but sea otter comes through with the save it's going to waterfall straight down Nobody there to touch it. Everybody's awkward. Shadow Wish with a nice touch. Oh, <laughs> nice shade with a nice touch. And he gets a nice yeah. little, little sliver of it and just scores. Because as you see here, everybody was very awkward. And he found that slot between the two defenders. So equalizes the game a minute and 20 seconds in. Three three minutes, 40 seconds left in the whole game. 1-1, one, one, game two. Let's see how uh, how it pans out. Three minutes is a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. especially League. especially in Rocky League, like it's only five minute games, but sometimes, like last game, it goes on for ten minutes, which is basically two games. So it can it can be very draining mentally because the constant pressure of being attacked is not really the easiest because you're bound to like make a small mistake and kind of just cost your team the game. Oh, a double tap by Air Jake. 
was unfamiliar with his game, but he's um he's pulling it out right now. He's he's definitely showing off why he's called Air Jake. Gets a nice little touch. He centers it, and oh, ooh, oh is this gonna be a goal? Oh, it's a nice little touch off the wall. Tries to pass it because he didn't have the angle. But um, that was a cute little dribble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Air Jake coming in. Oh, he could have shot that better, but good for us because uh, both of our defenders have double committed, and this gives them time to kind of come back. Oh, good. Good contest by Shadow Wish. Stopping the play there. Sea Otter getting a double touch here. Trying for this flip reset, but um, ends up giving his team a pretty decent pass there. Still in our offensive third. Nice little touch. Is going to double tap it on our head. And uh, that is 2-1. Sea Otter with a crazy touch here. That was Gets a nice slow read off the wall and double Good taps. example of uh, controlling the ball. Yeah, yeah. That was... Um, that was pretty much as clean as double taps get from a, a bounce, from a bounce pass. But 2-1, two, 2 minutes, 30 seconds left, 1-2 um, one, one to two in favor of Oklahoma. Shadow Wish trying to be a little bit more aggressive here, it seems, because um, we are down a goal, and we haven't really been able to attack them too well. Their defense is looking very park the bus, per se. Like, they're all just standing right in front of the goal waiting for a nice touch that they can clear oh nightshade with a decent shot there he almost snuck one in um the craigster bumping shadow wish going for the ball but he honestly probably just wanted to fake it because he was going to get beat and he knew that but um that's what i've noticed a lot when when our academy team plays is they shadow wish and nightshade usually tail each other a little bit um and most of the times, even if they can't touch the ball, they'll they'll try to just they'll try to just shadow defense and that insane save and shot. And oh, Shadow Wish with flaunting his recovery skills there. The Craigs are getting beat in the air. Nightshade also getting beat. Right now, it's just um, each touch they're a little late to, and this might cost them here. Ooh, a good pass across, but nobody there, and all three of them are back right now, I believe. Ooh, one's already back though. Crazy recovery. Pops it up for Shadow Wish, but he's gonna get beat. Like I'm saying, like they're all going up for the ball in the air, but Oklahoma Christian Esports right now is kind of faster in the air than our team. Shawnee's just not getting to the ball first, which is part of the reason why we're down at the moment with 50 seconds left. But um Here we go, the Craigster trying to get the ball out, but not really getting the best touch. And Nightshade coming to the rescue. Gets a nice little touch, props it up, might go for the ceiling shot here. Gets a nice little touch again, almost did a ceiling shot, but um, defense comes in for the answer. The Craigster kind of caught in the middle of nowhere with no boost right now. Air J completely messing up a pinch, but works out in their favor because Sea Otter was in position. Um, see, like right there, the Craigster got the first touch and he had the possession, but they got beat in the air. And Sea Otter just, they're just constantly pressuring and um, we're not able to answer too well. So 3-1, 13 seconds left. There is still a chance of, of a comeback, but um, game two looks like it's probably going to go to Oklahoma Christian Esports. Yeah, 13 seconds left. The best we could do is close the gap a little bit with the score. Yeah. Which would be kind of nice, you know? Yeah. The, the problem is, like, they're taking good touches, but they're not following it fast enough. Like, they're getting a good aerial touch to follow it up and maybe double tap or pass it. But they're not getting to the ball as fast as Sea Otter is or Air Jake is at the moment. So that game two goes to um, Oklahoma Christian Esports again. And that's 2-1 in the series. Uh, next game, if uh, Oklahoma wins, this is that's the series. And uh, Shawnee's out. But, um... I believe in the boys. They're going to come back with an answer because, uh, as you can see here, they're uh, very um, <laughs> perplexed, as perplexed. Uh, as some people would say. But um, <laughs> Coach steps in, trying to give them words of motivation. Let's see if words it works in game, in game three here. Here we are. Game three, this is for all the marbles. If Shawnee wins, they're still in it and have a chance to come back. But if uh, Oklahoma Christian wins this game, that's that's 3-0 wiped for Shawnee State University. The attack already going off. Immediately trying to go for the yeah, shot the on Yeah, the Craigster, uh, they're, they're realizing, Shawnee's realizing that they got to do what, 
what what um Oklahoma has been doing just keep the pressure on because as you see like they are very in in a very awkward position because they're not giving them any time to reset or get boost. This is our best bet, in my opinion, to get any goals. And just like that, that's that's a goal right there. Because off the bat, the last 36 seconds, all our team did was keep the pressure, not get drain boost them, and completely throw them out of position by just making it awkward. So 36 seconds in, 1-0 for Shawnee State. Already looking like a better start than the last two games. Um, let's see if they can hold on to this or extend the lead. Because... Um, Sometimes it's not enough to just have that 1-0 lead because a 1-0 lead in this game really isn't a lead, in my opinion, because all it takes is one goal and you're going to be in overtime for the next five minutes. So let's see if they can really do something here. That was a decent pass, but um, a little ambitious. Oh, it gets a great pass, and he is completely open here. What? Um, Wait. <laughs> so the game is lagging. <laughs> the and game literally just broke. <laughs> so Psionic I don't came think in it was in. It's wait. not. Oh, it, this is the goal oh. play. They did score. Oh, okay. 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 That was Why really is it confusing. One zero? Why is the score still 1 zero? What's going on? Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, something's broken. Uh, we're going to assume there's a score there, so it's 1-1. Yeah, one one. I think it's 1-1, one one, even though the score says 1-0. But that's... Um, It's okay. Rocket League doing Rocket League things. Yeah, um, yeah. Yep. It might fix... Yeah, that's the I've first never, time. It in, said like packet loss a second ago on the screen, so that's just psionic stuff. Yeah, it's still one zero. They, they scored this goal celebration, but whatever, we'll take it. If this is how the game ends, we'll take it. Cause yeah. Oh. All right. Well, and the game lobby has shut down. And. Uh, well, that's awkward. Yeah. So that's Anyways. a little goofy, a little whimsical. Um, they're still in game. Uh, Travis is running. Um. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's 2 1 now. Shadowish scored. Yeah, yeah, I think. Um, hurry up and join. Come on, Mason. Um, we're working on it. Anyways, how's your day going, chat? <laughs> yeah. Good. We have no idea what you're. Alright, we're back. We're, we're back. Um, two one. There we it go. It is two one. Shadow was scored while the while we were not watching. It happens. League locks you out. Yeah. That's, that's why league sucks. I mean, all right, two one. <laughs> yeah, league sucks. League. Uh, uh, league is just a. <laughs> league is a long game. Yeah, league league games are very long comparatively too. Cause, and. Uh, I could, I would cry if I was spectating a League of Legends game and got kicked out. Because and I couldn't then it back like, for the next three hours. It does happen. You just have to like, and just that game is just not getting streamed. Stream's over. <laughs> here's a, here's a replay from uh, last year's league game. But yeah, as we see here, two one, we're still in the lead. We missed one goal from our team, but um. We're keeping a decent amount of pressure here with two minutes left. And as you can see, that, that was an intentional fake and an intentional touch, obviously, Ooh. because we're built like that. But um, we're keeping good offense here. And I think that's what they've realized is that you can't really give them time to ooh, double come in. That, that one kind of hurts. Miscommunication. Yup. It's this, okay. This usually ooh. happens because Shadowish and Nightshade uh, are, are a duo. And they've been playing the game a lot. Like together since the game came out so like their chemistry is a little bit more revolving around duos which isn't a bad thing but it's just like when you when you join the team and like kind of try to fit into that rotation sometimes miscommunications like that occur and um leads to goals so that's a, that's a second goal for sea otter i believe and um oh no that's the second goal for um oklahoma i don't know if it's sea otter second goal but um 2-2 with a minute 25 left in game three. This is a close one, but um, I will say a little bit more. Oh, wow. Wow. If, if All Right was just able to put that on goal, that was a goal. That was a secured goal because they took out the goalkeeper and the other two were completely out of position. So um, 
Let's see how, um, ooh, nice little touch. It's going to waterfall, waterfall down. And we Shadow tried to Wish. mimic exactly what they did. Yeah, Shadow <laughs> Wish, unfortunately, not able to read it well enough. But that's because the oh. bounce off the wall sometimes just isn't in your favor. Oh. Because Rocket League hates you. Okay, we're going to pass um, it. We're going to play the, the game yep, keep Shadow away. Wish gets to, gets to a little pass and punch. But uh, Air Jake, with zero boost, chasing it. Sea Otter wasting the remainder of his boost gets demoed. Gets demoed after grabbing an 100. Yup. <laughs> like that, that might cost their team a little bit if one of our boys turns. Oh, yep. Nice little turn when he realized that both of them were past a certain point. Gets them caught out of position, but this gets Ooh. centered, almost looking dangerous. Shadow is going to go for some stunting here. Gets blocked by Sea Otter. Sea Otter does not want us to have fun, but that's fair because they also want to win. Um. Air J going for the double tap doesn't get quite what he wants, but gets a decent yeah. pass off to Sea Otter. And it's smelling like overtime. Yeah, with seven seconds left, this is probably their last play, unless Shawnee can just boom it here. Nope, they get boomed. Air J with a shot! No, my gosh! Zero second no goal way. for Oklahoma Christian Esports to take That's the game. series. That is game. And just like that. <laughs> Night Zero Shade not able to goal. not 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 able to save that shot and uh that goes into a 3-0 sweep for Shawnee or for um Oklahoma Christian Esports on Shawnee State University. And uh that's our academy game for the day and we just got sweeped unfortunately. But some days it's like that, you know, the, the chemistry feels a little off or uh the aerials feel a little off, the saves feel a little off. Because I've I've seen Nightshade save Way tougher goals than that. I think he just like fell under the pressure of like zero second. You know, if he misses, it's it's game over. Series yeah. over. But um, it's all right. That that's how it be sometimes. What are your thoughts on that on that series? I feel like they've learned a lot playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, especially like they they've grown as a team. They've gotten to know each other a lot better. True. Like you can tell from their first game playing together. Uh, that they have rapidly improved improved yeah yeah they have gotten like their chemistry so much is just getting better because this is their first season really playing as a team together so well not only like playing as a team like their skills overall are improving yeah 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 they're um and they don't look too defeated because they know that um it was pretty much a, an even matchup and they just lost by one goal almost every game Ex yeah actually every single game they lost by one goal so it wasn't a blowout which does feel good losing doesn't feel good obviously but I'm sure they can come back from this and um, and uh, do better ne uh, next Monday. That's all we can really hope for. But uh, that was our academy stream. And uh, are we going to be taking a break before our... Or was that it for the stream for right now? Okay. For like a couple minutes, probably. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Vars... Who? They're Rowan. Rowan? They're playing Rowan? Yeah. Dude, all right. I'm sorry. I'm supporting Rowan. Yes, I am. <laughs> Four of my boys are graduating this this year from Rowan. No. Go way. Profs! Go Profs! No, I'm kidding. Go Bears, no, baby. Go, go Bears. Bears. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back uh, with uh, with our. Rowan. No way, Rowan's playing.
Get it, squad. All right, we're we're in game. Uh, all right, it's time to send Rowan back to their homes in New Jersey. All right, all right, all right. calm down. Here we go, varsity game between Shawnee State and Rowan Gold. Um, not really sure the ranks here, but um. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, well, Rowan. They're all GCs, okay, okay. So it's GCs against uh, pros, basically. That's <laughs> what I'm seeing. Okay, no worries. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, here. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see because um, these games are always a lot more um, consistent, obviously, because they're such high rank. Cute little um, dribble. Yeah, they're uh, they're already kicking it off with... Um, with some crazy aerial touches that we didn't see in our academy game, obviously. Um, These so people live is, in the air. The, yeah, this is the <laughs> they live in the air. I don't know what you're talking about. What, what academy <laughs> wants to be, but is not going to be for a while because Practice this is the makes top one percent of the game, pretty much that we're looking at. But um, yeah, in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because most of their fifties, like. Usually in Diamond and Champ, most of your 50s are on the ground where you're trying to get the touch off and like take the ball with you, and then somebody comes in 50s you. But like GC and SSL ranks, most of the 50s are pretty much midair. Like you'll see right there, like Ducky got a good touch, but then the opposition was already on him. So if he was a second late, it would have gotten contested. But um, PJ getting a decent touch here and Quiet Pipe Killer scoring. just getting a nice little touch, dribbling it in. And just walking the dog home, pretty much. <laughs> walking the dog. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, he literally walking nice the little, dog. Nice little walk back into the goal. 1-0, 3 minutes and 13 seconds left in game 1. Shiny 1, Rowan 0. And that's another thing. Most of these people, like, even though Nightshade and Shadowish do, um, they do do speed flips. Uh, in this, it's a lot more consistent that everybody's pretty much speed flipping every flip that they do. 
so it's a lot more fast paced as you can see like they're not really stopping or letting go of their max speed too much um <clears throat> ducky and quiet with the crazy combo save there to save the goal but um the pressure is still on them rowan not letting up the gas but quite killer Ooh, a pass into PJ, and he's just a little bit too slow there. It was so pretty. Yeah, they almost did a crazy passing play, but um, a nice little pinch right into the corner of um, Rowan. Getting a nice little touch, just just like that. Like you see, like most of these touches are just towards the air. Like the, Every touch that they get, the ball flies right up. Instead of like a more of a horizontal trajectory, it's just taking that straight up vertical trajectory and they just meet up in the air above the goal line most of the time um going for the double tap but ducky gets a nice little touch to just lay it off to the side quite killer laying it off but ooh, a bar down almost in quite killer getting a nice touch to prevent it from actually getting scored but a nice little drop down double tap ducky in goal tries to read it gets a nice little touch on it but um rowan's already on it i am um, Dank Red with a nice little touch, but uh, quite killer there to save it. Lottie Lettuce trying to get a nice little 50 play, but Ducky reading that and Ducky getting a nice little touch. He's going to try and pass it, but um, Dank Red just completely shutting down that whole attack. And now rolling on the offense still because um, of that touch, but um, Ducky's not letting up. He's um, going for the demos, going for all the boosts that they have to offer. Quite kind of getting a nice little touch off the side, but Lottie reading it. He's going to try and double tap here. Gets a nice touch. Quite killer just able to clear it away. Um, PJ setting it up up top for Ducky, but I think he missed flipped and wasn't able to get to it in time. Um, quite killer just um, taking their boost, drain starving them in their half while two of our defenders just um, stay on top of the ball and just pretty much not let it just uh be an air ball for too long because the ball is in the air for too long in this um rank more than likely somebody's gonna shoot an absolute beam into your goal so you don't want to keep any ball uncontested for too long 30 seconds left in game one one zero lead for shawnee quite clear getting a nice little touch but uh dank red getting a a good defensive block pj just playing it down for ducky getting a pre-flip Reading the ball, oh, just just over him. Fight Killer getting a nice touch. He's probably going to try and read this off the wall. Runs out of boost, but kind of gives a nice little like passway here to PJ. Straight to Ducky getting a touch. And that um, going off the wall, this might right here be um, game one to Shawnee. Yep, there we go. 1-0 yep. in a series against Rowan, Shawnee State. Everybody dance. Ducky, yucky. Okay, well. <laughs> Ducky Ducky hitting the T pose and Volkenzi telling everybody to dance. Uh, <laughs> some good vibes going around here. Um, let's see how they um, change it up in game two. Uh, as you can see, our academy team spectating and uh, sitting back behind them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the only reason why Varsity is winning right now is probably because of the academy. To be honest, they're giving them the tips and telling them what to do. So uh, it's definitely interesting to see how uh, the knowledge is being relayed from. Uh, from diamonds to you know supersonic legends but uh second game here already off and um let's see how um rowan really fights back here with that first game gone lettuce was just super aggressive right there yeah he um stayed on top of the ball a lot and dank red right there trying to get a 50 but might cost him here they're um all over the place at the moment well kenzie trying to get a 50 doesn't get it but throws PJ off the ball, which uh, in turn gives Lottie and Dank Red time to really set it up the way they want to. Well, Kenzie getting a nice touch. He's going to try and probably just take his time here since he doesn't see anybody pushing. Gets a nice little touch over, but unfortunately right across the goal. Clyde Killer getting a decent touch, has possession of the ball, gets a 50 done. Well, Kenzie pressuring the ball, Lottie already on it, and Ducky up to block that and he's going to just take his time here see what they do quite killer getting a nice little touch ducky probably gonna try and get some boost here as he's completely out yeah um lottie with a nice shot I bottom want... right corner I i'm telling you able to get it lottie was kind of cooking yeah Lottie's... they got that anime profile picture persona i'm pretty yeah. sure yeah yeah that's uh 
that is an anime profile picture from um I can't remember the anime, but uh um, Persona? Is that from Persona? Hey, that looks that look, that looked like Persona. Persona to art? Me. Yeah, that, that did look <laughs> like Persona art. That <laughs> Persona. Uh, for some reason I thought it was something else, but I think you're right. That might be Persona. Lottie with the, the flip resets on on deck here, but um Fight Killer getting a nice little touch. Doesn't have boost, but he's gonna, gonna try and pressure this. Just um, maybe demo somebody or bump somebody in gold to give our boys a chance. Ducky left alone in the back line with no boost with the pressure coming onto him. Nice little touch by PJ. Ooh, drop down in the middle for Quite Killer. Well, Kenzie contesting it, but PJ and Dank Red meeting in, in the air again, and um, the ball right now is still up for grabs. Right now, Quite Killer gets a nice little touch. Lottie gets just a bit of his car on it, and it completely zooms past. And um, right now, Shawnee State kind of trying to get their momentum going still. Well, Kenzie on Quiet Killer, and I think he realized, so he had to get rid of the ball as soon as he could. Ducky with a nice little double tap off the wall, just giving them possession, because right now, they don't really have much going on. So he's just trying to reset and uh, get back into it. Here, Ducky gets a nice little touch. PJ in position, gets gets a pass to Quiet. He's going to play it into the corner. Doesn't get a double touch, but Volkenzi just throwing it in the air. But Ducky was already in the air. Gets a flip reset. Oh, Lottie here. Lottie has an open goal here, and he gets the second goal. 2-0 for Rowan. They're not letting up. They're, they're, they're basically letting us know that we're not out for the count. We're actually kind of on top of our game at the moment, and... Um, Shawnee has to wake up to really um, recover from this game here. 2-0 with two and a half minutes gone. Rowan leading game two. Yeah, as you can see, like, um, the first game, they were kind of slow. Oh, Ducky oh, right off okay. the bat with the... Oh, okay, and, and then the wall wave dash. Yeah, just a little bit of front. But quite got a nice 50 there just to block Lottie because he knew that Lottie's been kind of aggressive the whole game. So Ducky was ready for that, and uh, he kind of just read the, the pass off the ball there. But 1-2 uh, with only 6 seconds lost in that whole interaction. So we're in it to win it. Oh, and Volkenzi doesn't get a good touch on it. <laughs> okay. And Fight Killer with, with <laughs> basically an open goal ties it up. We're two not messing two. around anymore. Yeah, 11 seconds since I said that we really have to wake up and score 2 goals. And we did it. So. <laughs> we woke up. 2-2. Shawnee, Rowan. That was, that was Rowan, crazy. Two, and a, 2 minutes and 18 seconds left in the second game. Ball straight to PJ and gets a nice little flip off the ceiling, but doesn't catch the ball fast enough. Ducky just trying to stand his ground here because they have a shot coming, and Lottie with the hat trick. He is on top right now. He's not letting off the gas. As you can see here, Ducky got a little touch there, but he was also bumped by Dank Red, throwing him out of position, which left Quite Killer in a very awkward position. To, um, kind of the way to do it. Yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah. get the people out of they the goal the, to score the goal. Exactly, because they know, like Dank Red right there knew that Lottie or Lottie knew that Dank Red was gonna go for that bump, so he was on top. And <laughs> Dank Red coming around, <laughs> just getting another goal there. That and is the, the prime five. time to score is in the first ten seconds of the game, first twenty seconds. It is prime time to score because yeah. you're getting your situation you down and what you're you doing yeah, yeah. You're right. if you're if you're aggressive enough you're kind of able to capitalize on uh on people lacking here but um as you can see they're they're being aggressive right off the bat here but nobody in the back here ducky getting a touch to the side but he doesn't have any boost so it's going to be interesting to see what he does he goes off the ceiling gets a nice ceiling pass to pj still and uh pj's gonna try and follow this no ducky is he's he's um Kind of caught out of, out of position there. Lottie passing it back. Not sure if that was intentional, but it kind of worked out in their favor. Um, right now, it's it's looking like uh, possession of Rowan still. But um, Ducky with a nice save going for another one. Well, Kenzie going to try and just pass it down to his teammate. Gets a nice pass, but PJ just in goal ready for it. Um, Dank Red. Oh, going for the double tap. Almost getting a very nasty angle hit there. But... Um, Nonetheless, it's in the corner now, and um, Rowan's still on the offense, keeping complete pressure, but right there, they got a nice little touch to throw the ball out, and now it's in their half, and now it's going to be a, a battle of um, who really messes up, because it's just going back and forth, and um, 
Rowan knows that all they got to really do is keep the pressure up because they they do have a two-goal lead here. Yeah, where time is not on our side right now. Yeah, 40 now. seconds left, and we got to score two goals. But the, the two goals that we did score were scored in 11 seconds. So to be fair, it is that very is possible. That is true. It is anything's possible in but Rocket is, League, I feel like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking tough, though, because they're not really able to... At this point, it's already been so long since the last goal that they're kind of set up. But there we well, go. Well, there's the goal. PJ there's gets, what we were talking PJ, about. Yep, PJ gets the opening, and he sees that uh, there's two behind him right there. And um, there's an open space because Dankred is mid-flip. So they get one goal back. 22 seconds left. 3-4. Rowan leading at the moment in game two. Let's see can get if this they're up. able to tie it up or maybe even win it without going into overtime. Um Ducky going for it. He gets the flip reset, I'm pretty Ooh. sure. But Volkenzi says none of that. Dank Red off the wall gets a 50 with, with um, PJ. Quite Killer going to try and pressure this because they have seven seconds and they, they need to make something happen here. Um, oh. Straight past the Ducky. Ooh, but Dank Red is just going to kill it off here, I think. Ducky gets a nice touch and it's going to be hard to keep it up here, but they might be able to do something. They right might here. just, they're just going to play, keep it yep. in the air. They, Ducky and gets a nice little touch. Oh, God. unfortunately, it was close. He's not able to read the wall pass that they uh, they were kind of going for there. But um, game two goes to Rowan. One, one, Shawnee State, Rowan. Um, interesting game. Like um, they had the two zero lead right off the bat and um, we came back. But then they also just answered right back and got two more goals. And we weren't really able to recover from that. But um. As you can see, the boys are, uh, they're unfazed. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Game three right they, here. We're going to come out with all of it. They just know that they need to be a little bit more aggressive in the start. Yeah, true. Dank, they're, the, the kickoff kind of getting messed up right there. Uh, I think what happened is Quite Killer bumped into PJ, and they both were out of position there, and that just left the goal kind of wide open for Dank Red. 1-0 uh, right off the bat. Rowan not letting up even in game three. 1 0 with six seconds gone by. Let's see if Shawnee's really able to recover from this. Unfortunately, it's not looking too good right off the bat again. They're already under a great amount of pressure. Oh. Almost gets scored on top <laughs> bins. And as you see, they're not letting the ball leave their offensive third. Every touch that Shawnee gets. Uh, Rowan is just touching it right back into their own zone, which is kind of like the biggest problem at the moment. We're not, we don't have enough space or boost to really answer this. Um, coming straight down, PJ with a nice touch. Dankred just playing it off to the side. Ducky trying to read this. Gets a nice little touch. Almost bounces the ball right in. Uh, quite killer getting a decent touch PJ following it up. I'm not sure if Ducky's gonna be able to get it Ducky gets another good touch PJ does not get the touch. Come that on might PJ <laughs> Yeah <laughs> uh, Come on PJ. PJ letting me know that he got bumped uh, <laughs> Sounds like cap to me, but it's okay. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll move past it <laughs> Ducky going up for the ball gets a nice little touchdown Oh. And uh, Quite Killer passing it to the side to PJ. PJ gets a nice little 50. Uh, Lottie taking the ball off him. Uh, Quite Killer doing a nice little touch, but also a 50. Ducky getting a, a clear almost, but um. Ooh, Ooh Ducky getting a nice little net. shot, and that's, <laughs> that's in the net. <laughs> well, that's what happens. You uh, you triple commit, and uh, basically we're just gonna take the open goals. Uh, one one, three and a half minutes played. Um. In game two, in game three. Let's see how we answer from bump and missed goals. But um, <laughs> right off the bat, it's already in our half. But um, I think I think um, Rowan's not gonna be pushing as hard with all three after that last goal. But um, nice little touch from Ducky. PJ keeping it alive, puts it up. Quite trying to get a nice redirect. Doesn't get it on goal, but still keeps it in their half. Ducky taking the ball with him. Just <laughs> he just good changes touches. taking the ball? Taking it on a, a walk? Nice pass into the <laughs> middle, but Volkenzi, unfortunately, there to defend it. PJ gets a nice little 50 straight to Duck here. Ducky gets another touch. I think he's going to go for another one after Quite Killer here. Yup, he does. PJ gets a nice little touch. He's going to wait for the save here. Gets a nice little touch onto the side, and he's going to try and follow it. Keep pressure on. 
Ducky's going to try and do that as well. Um, yeah, I mean, this is basically all you can do at this point. Just try to get it out by contesting them where needed. Oh, PJ with a nice touch and Duck into the nice touch into the middle as well. But um, nothing comes of it. Dankred just air dribbling it. Waterfall's down, but what a great touch out. Nobody in goal, but also nobody really attacking the ball there. So it's not really the biggest threat. Clykiller getting a good touch. Making Dankred just give up the possession. Gets a good little touch onto the side. Ducky. PJ going to take the ball with him. Nice little 50 still. The ball is set up for a nice ceiling shot, but Ducky says nope. Ducky going for it. Oh, tries to fake him out there. Quite killer. Gets a touch onto the side. And Ducky with the crazy redirect, but it does not go in because Rocket League hates everybody. <laughs> Rocket League physics. Ducky gets a nice little touch onto the side, just relieving a little bit of pressure, giving his teammates a little bit of breathing room. He's going to try and get another one here. Nice onto the side. PJ's going to try and follow this. Or maybe even get a bump. Uh, Quite Killer takes it off the wall. He's going to try and touch it off. Not the worst touch. He gets he gets a decent touch on Volkenzi, keeping the ball still alive. But Lotus or Lottie Lettuce kind of kills the whole momentum there. Uh, Quiet Killer trying to stay with the ball. Gets a decent touch. PJ gets bumped. Uh, and Ducky trying to just... <laughs> <laughs> Place it off the ball. Uh, well, Ken's trying to keep pressure on here. Lottie Lettuce gets a decent touch, has no boost left. Ducky with a nice little clear. PJ with a nice touch onto the side, comes back to the middle. Quite killer gets a touch, and it goes back into their side. Ducky's going to try and just stop this here, gets a nice little save, and gets another 50 to completely deny the second man pushing as well. Uh, they play it down and quite clear is on it. PJ's going to try and follow this up. Gets a nice little side touch and uh, he knows that it's not really a big threat right now. So he's going to go for the, the bump and the, the boost. Which kind of messes up the position of Dankred giving giving Ducky a decent shot there. Ducky passes into the middle and uh, nobody there but that was, um, that was an unexpected touch. So um, can't really be blamed here. Ooh, uh, Dank Red gets a demo onto Ducky, but um, nothing really comes of it. Quite Killer pushing here. Ducky's just gonna wait this out. Just gonna try and play it. He might, he might score right here with a double tap. Passes it into the middle. Oh, oh! PJ it's keeps it alive. Like an absolute G, but nothing comes of it, unfortunately. Overtime oh, game three, one one. Let's see how this turns out. They already don't like PJ. They already um, have gotten a big bump into it. Well, Kenzie trying to do it whatever he can. Lottie gets another touch. PJ blowing up. Well, Kenzie saying, I got you back. Um, Quiet Killer getting a nice little touch. He might be able to get a second here. The ball is played down into Ducky. PJ tries to read it, but um, but uh, Dank Red gets a touch off the wall, which kind of throws his trajectory off. Um, right now, it's just a battle of back and forth. Whoever, um, whoever gets that first um, beat will probably be able to um, score here. PJ going for a nice touch. Just goes over. Dankred booms it into our corner where Ducky's waiting, but Volkenzi's right behind him. Doesn't have too much boost here. Touches it off to the side. Ooh, what a... I'm, I, I'm not sure if that was a 50 or not, but Lottie's just trying to play it down. Gets a nice little touch. He's still in this. Just Ooh. trying to keep the pressure up. Fly Killer says, don't worry, I got this. I'm going to take the ball here. Tell, uh, gets a nice little touch. Plays it all the way up. PJ's going to try and read this. He gets a nice shot onto goal, but there's just a goalkeeper in the middle. But the ball is still kept in, in uh, the enemy half, which is kind of the game plan here, I believe. Uh, Volkensi gets a decent touch. He's going to try and redirect it here. But Ducky is already on the defense. And here comes Dunkworth. Dunkworth gets a nice touch. And he almost double taps it. And... and PJ comes in to follow it, but him falling down um, kind of saves the goal. Ducky with a nice save. Gets a touch. It's going to waterfall straight down. Quiet Killer just following it up. He's going to he's gonna take it off the wall. Get a nice little shot. Lottie getting a good save, but PJ right on top of it. Lottie plays it into the middle where Ducky is kind of sitting in an awkward position, but gets a nice little touch to Quiet Killer. Um... Plays it forward, and fortunately, I believe Quiet Killer just did a backflip, which is uh, which is Rocket League. But um, Rocket League. 
but um, Ducky with a nice boom straight to PJ. Gets a touch off the wall. Quite killer waiting here. Gets a nice little touch into the middle. The ball is still kept in our possession. It's going to bounce up. Let's see if... Uh, ooh, PJ gets a nice little touch up into the middle. <laughs> Comes straight down and... And we take Ducky the game. Ducky bar down straight into PJ for the pass. And that's 2-1. Shawnee State take the game 2-1 in game 3. Um, that was just clockwork. They were... Oh, uh, and the Bengals. Never mind. I was going to praise... I was going to praise PJ, but he's got the Bengal <laughs> banner. So yeah. I'm just going to take back everything I said about him. Oh, no. But that, that's game three to Shawnee State. And, um, again, close one. I mean, Lottie didn't really do much that game compared to last game scoring-wise. But he was still seven shots. He still took seven shots and kept the pressure yeah. up just like he was doing the whole time. Taking a five-minute break? We're taking a five-minute break. All right. I think Rowan has requested a break or... Okay. Uh, we, we did. Right. We, uh, we're going to be taking a short, quick break. Uh, to reset our minds and come back and uh, continue game four. Uh, the score right now is 2-1, I believe, mm -hmm. Shawnee. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with game four shortly. The reason I came to Shawnee is because I was looking for schools in the area and they had game programming and I thought, well, I like the game. <laughs> I'm not much of a theory learner. <laughs> I need to do it. I need to make mistakes and learn from them. It really is designed around what you're interested in. My area of interest was traumatic brain injury from getting my bachelor's to master's and then coming back to get my doctorate after nine and a half years of clinical practice. Everything that I learned, I was able to take it to the clinic and apply it that day. Getting a degree here at Shawnee State, especially one like engineering, it's such a wide field. You have so many options. The good thing about the plastics program is you could go into many different work fields like manufacturing, robotics, design. I was very interested in game engineering and Shawnee State was top rated. I thought it would be a lot of fun and it just wasn't for me and I thought I like tech stuff. I'm good at it. They have a tech program here so I switched. The degree itself is broad enough that I could do a lot of different things in the industry and narrow enough to where I could specialize in something once I graduate. I liked Shawnee because there was, you know, the smaller class ratios, more interaction with the teachers. You can ask for help and they can give it to you right away. We had smaller lab groups, so with so many different machines, you really get that all-around experience. The department as a whole does a great job of trying to stay um, up to date with the latest, um, you know, trends, technologies, new developments that students will immediately uh, reap the benefits of when they enter the workforce. It's a lot of practical learning that we'll be able to... It's game four of Rowan versus Shawnee State. One or two one. Uh, right off the bat we see here Lottie keeping uh, keeping up the pressure. Bumping, I'm not sure if that was an intentional bump, but uh, kind of throwing quite clear out of position and the ball just slipping past PJ in there. Yeah, that bump kind of threw quite clear out of position, which kind of threw off the whole chemistry. But 1-0, um, 4.42 minutes left in game four. I still 50 in our favor, and uh, I believe Ducky's going to try and follow it with a... Oh, he tries to go low, but um, Lottie with a nice save there. Well, Kenzie's staying on top of the ball. Dankrad getting a touch onto the side gonna fly out gonna get an undershot but um nothing really coming of it ducky taking it with him and just flying with it and he gets a nice little pass off to pj and pj says give me that goal back one one with four minutes and 18 seconds left clockwork just a give and go right there all right let's see how they're able to recover here 50, PJ bumping the boy and um, playing it off to the side. No 
we had we like to do things the hard way here. <laughs> Three fifty one left with uh with pressure in Rowan's side right now. Ducky getting a nice little pinch out. Sure, Volkenzi playing it down. PJ with a nice little fifty. Quiet killer getting demoed by Lottie Lettuce here. Let's see if they're really able to capitalize on the two and three, but um Quiet's already back and um PJ going for this nice little touch. Quiet with uh, an attempt to clear, but it doesn't leave their half, which kind of still keeps the pressure in Rowan's favor. Um, <clears throat> Ducky getting absolutely tossed for whatever reason. Seems like some uh, bad blood is brewing here. Um, the, the games are close. It's 2-1 in the series, but the game four right now is still 1-1 with three minutes remaining. Dank Red trying to do some something uh, clean there, but our boys shut it off before it can develop into anything. Volkenzi playing it up for Dank Red, and Dank Red tried to redirect it, but doesn't get a touch on it. Lottie... Quiet Killer gets a touch. Dank Red playing it straight down, and Volkenzi is going to try and follow it up here, just air dribbling to get it out of their half. Lands on top of Quiet Killer, and Quiet Killer says none of that. But then gets bumped, which uh, kind of throws him out of position again, which is kind of scary at the moment. <sighs> Quiet going up for it, beating Volkenzi. Volkenzi's still getting a piece of it, which sending which sends the ball straight up. But Quiet plays it off to PJ, tries to do a beautiful pla pass into the middle, but um, gets beaten. Um, Ducky trying to get a touch and he misses, but um, Quiet Killer. And PJ sh pinch it, and they play in the middle. And PJ almost in the exact position that he should have been, but uh, the defenders were also there, unfortunately. Quiet Killer reading the ball pretty well. Ducky taking it. He's going to try and flip reset here. But um, Volkenzi just clears it. Quiet Killer gets him out of his corner. And um, they're just trying to clear the ball at the moment because... Um, Rowan's keeping up the pressure again. Um, PJ with a nice clear. Ball bounces. But, um... Ooh, that was almost a really nice slotted shot. But, um, the positioning worked out, luckily. Well, Kenzie getting a, getting a touch onto the side. Air dribbles it. PJ tries to read it. Goes just over. Um, Ducky gets a touch, but passes it straight to Dang. He double taps it off the wall and... And uh, Lottie is just not able to score that. Ducky just just gracefully taking it towards the goal, but um, not nothing comes of it. Unfortunately, the ball is straight up in the air. Quite clearly trying to read it off the wall, but unfortunately has no boost to follow it up. But PJ comes in with a clutch bump, completely throws him off the ball. Probably saved us a goal there. Quite clearly takes it into the corner, gets a nice little pinch, coming straight down. PJ with a nice touch into the side, tries to follow it up, going for their boost, and sees Ducky kind of played it straight down, but Quite Killer with an amazing save. Lottie plays it back, and Quite Killer gets another good touch off it. Ducky plays it right into Lottie in their half, but at least the pressure is somewhat relieved. Ball comes straight down, Quite Killer gets a touch, and this is still Shawnee's ball, and Ducky gets a nice pre flip goal. With seven seconds left, and I hear them celebrating IRL with NSFW voices. But um, that's 2-1 <laughs> in game four. Huh. And if they win right here, that's that's um, the series right there. So let's see if they can hold on to this one goal lead with seven seconds remaining. Vicular with a decent touch. PJ already up for it. Gets a nice 50. Gets straight down. Well, Kenzie's going to try and keep this up. He's keeping it off the side of the wall. And uh, Quiet Killer just kills it, and that's 3-1 in the series. Shawnee State University take the series over Rowan. Um, and that's our first varsity game of the night. Yep. And uh, we're going to be playing another team. We're playing Fisher. We're playing who? Fisher? Fisher. We're playing Fisher next. I don't know if it's college or university, then. I think it's college? university. We're playing Fisher, so... Fisher College. College. Yeah, we're playing Fisher College. 
But uh, that was our first game. Ducky looking absolutely heartbroken. He uh, he didn't get his four for four today. He's um, four four. he looks distraught at the moment. But um, maybe he's just praying for uh, them gains. I'm not really sure at the moment. <laughs> but that was our first series of the night. Um, yeah, that was pretty. That was a pretty close game. Uh, Lottie Lettuce was probably Rowan's um, most threatening player throughout the whole series because they were. Um, constantly pressuring but um shawnee was able to come out on top with uh, their teamwork and camaraderie so that was uh, our first stream of the day and uh, are we playing the second game right now 15 minutes so are we are we allowed to just I mean what are we supposed to do for 15 minutes Yeah, we're going to play an ad for you because there's nothing to talk about at the moment. Because we're sweeping. Because we, we're sweeping. We're kind of cooking. Uh, but we'll be back with our game two against Fisher College. Um, see you then. I am Travis Lynn, coach of eSports here at Shawnee State University. I do teach video game design and I coach eSports classes, but I also help coach and facilitate the entire eSports program. Currently on Varsity, we have around 52 players on our roster. We support six different titles. They are League of Legends, Call of Duty, Hearthstone, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Smash Bros. We also support multiple teams at a club level, including Valorant and another Overwatch team, um, as well as allowing varsity players to play on some secondary lineups during our club program. So, Hi, my name is Anissa Peoples. I'm the coordinator of athletics media here at Shawnee State University. Um, I'm also an assistant with the esports team and I run their inclusion committee. I have a really cool and unique experience with esports. I was a member of the inaugural varsity team in fall of 2018. I was a uh, hitscan DPS player for the Overwatch team. After I left and finished my degree here, I got to come back as the assistant and um, start with just writing about the team and making sure we were promoted. And now I've kind of grown and taken a bigger role here at Shawnee State. My name is Gwendolyn Bowman. My gamer tag is Obama and I play Overwatch, well, Overwatch 2 now. I come from a really small town where opportunities like this don't really exist. A lot of people play games, but there's no competitive scene and there's nothing really to do with it competitively. And when I came here to Shawnee State, I saw that we had a competitive scene for Overwatch. I had been playing Overwatch for about a year then, so I joined our club team and I just instantly fell in love with the scene. My favorite part about competing here is, I'd say the teamwork that we put into it. There are times where we will play against people that are much better like mechanically skilled, but when it comes down to teamwork, they don't really work together as well as a team. Here at Shawnee State, the team is really like one tight-knit group. My name is Thomas de Grauw. I play for the Shawnee League team and I'm from the Netherlands. Shawnee has impacted me in multiple ways. Like I said, the school is very including. They accept everyone and everything. They do a lot of activities around school, which has me gotten into meeting new people and make new friends, especially like esports as well. Most of the guys I've never met before and after two, three weeks, they're like friends to me. As much as I wanted to be a high level competitor or an entertainer, um, helping others find their dream or find their passions is really what I like to do as a professor and as a coach, um, helping them elevate themselves to where they actually want to go or you know anything goals that they want to achieve. Seeing them do those things, if it's winning a game or passing a test or uh, getting through a class that they were struggling with, seeing their, the smiles on their faces when they go through those things is always the best part of it. I think it's important to have diversity in esports or in, in anything you do because um, I've lived in many different states in the United States and uh, I always learn something new when I'm introduced to a new culture. I'm, I grow as a person when I learn from different people's backgrounds, understanding their perspectives and where they come from. And I wanna make sure that everybody has that experience on the team as well. Um, that's a big part of college in any anyways, is to make sure that you get to meet people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different perspectives. And we can facilitate that in a group of people that are wanting to excel and level up. So we wanna make sure that we continue to do that. For you know people from marginalized communities, it's hard enough to be a gamer and coming into maybe a collegiate program where you're already under stress, you're already trying to focus on your academics, you want to make sure that you have somewhere you can go and just let loose and go into your flow state and feel comfortable. And any way we can make that better is important. 
I'd like to think that I empower people, especially as somebody who has been brought in. I want to empower people who may not have a voice outside of this space. And I want to make sure they know that they're heard and give them a platform if needed. People from different cultures, backgrounds, brings in more experience into a group which everyone can learn from. In my daily life, communication is very important and playing video games, I've learned that communication is key. So that's how it's impacted my life the most, I think. Gaming has changed my life because it's, it's my number one hobby. It's just something that I always constantly like to do. It's something that makes me happy.
Alright, welcome back we to are our back. stream, uh, our second game of tonight against Fisher College. Um, going to be an interesting one after uh, the first series because uh, I feel like they may be a little more warmed up than Fisher College since they just played a whole series, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, off the bat, PJ but with a crazy <laughs> save. Kevin here getting a... Uh, a touch with Ducky reading it, get, getting a nice little demo onto uh, Tasek. That's how you say his name. I'm not really sure, but um, 
Right off the bat, our Shawnee State Bears are already off to a very aggressive start. They are... I think we just want to get it done. Yeah, we're, uh, like I said, they're actually probably way more warmed up than Fisher because... They just played a whole game. They whole literally game. just played four games of a series yeah. against another and college. And they played games before that. Exactly. So they've been here for a couple of hours now. Just, um, I think they're just ready to go home. Just sweep it up. Get get a nice little goal just like that. Ducky with uh, his usual stunting on the wall dashes. Ducky wants um, to go home and go to sleep. All the boys are trying to go home and go to sleep and uh, have a nice night. So they're just trying to wrap this up. Um, 1 0 with uh, a minute played in game one against Fisher. Let's see how different <coughs> this series is compared to last play-wise. I think it's going to be pretty similar because I think the ranks are pretty much the same, I would assume. Since uh, Yeah, Nasa's pretty good about putting uh, everyone in like a, in the like yeah. groups with their ranks. Yeah, like they have good matchmaking, skill-based matchmaking. They, um, I think you also do have a chance of playing people way higher than you just depends on the league that you sign up for because last last season when i was playing uh we were in the same league as them as the varsity people and we were playing against people that play like this and we got completely wiped but it was a learning experience to see what really the top one percent of the game looks like pj with a nice little dribble right above uh kevin uh quite killer getting a nice touch ducky Taking it to the side, but Kevin is just gonna play it off to Ducky again, and and um, he's trying to recover here, but um, he's getting bumped up. Quite killer taking it up the wall has four boosts, so gets a nice little pinch still. Ducky trying to get a touch and uh, not getting quite exactly what he wanted. PJ playing it back to the middle, but it might backfire here. But Ducky says, "No worries, I got you." Getting a nice little save. Ducky's just off the wall and getting these insane saves and PJ takes the ball to the roof gets a nice touch to quite killer and Ducky is here to receive it oh PJ gets a nice little touch on it but um it gets 50 and now it's offense for Fisher College here um so far the game the game is not looking too much different the pressure and the 50s are still in the air which is a typical GC SSL lobby um but I, like I said, the Shawnee State Bears are looking a lot more in form at the moment. Just um, kind of trying to run game. Yeah, they're definitely more in, in the game this game. Yep, they're definitely playing off each other a little bit better. Um, Ducky doing what he does, just playing it off to PJ. PJ getting a nice touch right to the middle. Ducky reading it, reading the waterfall down, but quite killer. Not quite able to get a free shot there as the defender was right on him. Falls, taking it to the air, gets a flipper. He said, I don't think he's going to be able to follow it up, unfortunately. But um, Kevin plays it right back to Falls. It gets a nice redirect. Insane, insane touch right into our goal. As you can see here, Ducky plays it up. Kevin plays this to Falls. And Falls gets a nice little touch there, as you can see. Uh, tying, the game, tying the game up with a minute and 30 seconds left. Um, game one, looking pretty interesting, pretty even at the moment. Still plenty of time, though. Yeah. This is very true. All it takes is pretty much five seconds for a goal to be scored, um, as we've seen in previous other, matches of the our day. other matches today, yep. Um, that 15-second goal. Yeah, and that last earlier. second goal. The last second goal that we saw to uh, in, in our academy game to make us lose the series, that also kind of shows, like, Sometimes you don't need any time as long as you keep the ball up. And that Splish. is insane. They just get a bar I love, down. I love that goal thing. The splash. It's, it's creepy. <laughs> splash. <laughs> splash. Gets a bar down touch. PJ is trying to make an insane <laughs> so save. <stupid>. Just, just, <laughs> just misses the ball. Ducky with a nice little 50. PJ pressuring the ball. Trying to get a nice PJ little touch into the it? middle. Bumping teammates or bumping uh, enemies' teammates to open up the goal. Um, right now, the ball in our pos in our um, <clears throat> half. Uh, quite good, getting a nice little touch up, but Kevin is there to receive it, and Ducky says, "Nope, I'll take that." Gets a nice little touch, but PJ getting demoed here, unfortunately. Luckily, quite clear was on the case, and he gets 
a touch, but not enough to get it out of their half here. The ball leaves the half for just a second, but Kevin in the right position to just kind of play it right back into the mix. The ball, this is the same story as we saw last series where they're kind of getting pressured into not being able to do much out of their own half. And um, game one right now is looking kind of grim for Shawnee, unless they can keep this up. Kevin gets a touch up. PJ's under the ball. Kevin keep or um, Quiet Killer keeps it up. Ducky boosts it up, falls to the side here. PJ with a nice touch is going to try and center it. Gets a decent center, but unfortunately, Kevin with the bicycle clear gets right over the, the back line, and that's game one to Fisher College. 2 1, close game. Not really much different from the last series, to be honest. Just, no, not um, at all. They got those anime profile pictures. Yeah. That's how you know they're good. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they got the uh, the drip going. Well, first off, they're they're able to have profile pictures, so that's how you know they've been playing the game for a while. Yeah. Because they're they they're steam. steam they're steam people. So that's how you know they're kind of you know OGs. But um, game one going to Fisher College here, but uh, not a blowout whatsoever. Um, came down to the last second, but game two here, one zero Fisher College. And right off the bat, we can see their their pressuring strat is on go already. Almost getting a goal right there. Kevin getting a decent save there, though. Quite killer with a touch onto the side. And Ducky switches on that, but he just can't line it up with the goal there. But um, Falls getting a flip reset, messing it up. PJ with a nice rebound onto him. Quite killer going to try and follow this. Gets, beats Tasek and... This might be a goal right here. Yep. It was a goal. Nice, nice uh, team play there where Quite Killer plays it up into the roof. Ducky gets a nice little wall pass, and PJ in perfect position to just bang it into the goal. Uh, and with the, with the sick Hot Wheels Hot goal Wheels. celebration, we love that. 1 0 Shawnee State. And oh, a bit of a. a, bit okay. of a might, might have been a fake kickoff that they were going for, but oh. Ducky almost okay. scoring an absolute banger. Uh, gets saved by Kevin, unfortunately. Kevin taking good touch here, but quite killer. Or Kevin is uh, is uh, on the case. He's, Kevin squared really going on. Yeah, right <laughs> he says, "Nope, I'm the real one." And uh, this is how we're doing it right now. PJ getting a good pass into the middle, but Fall is getting um, a piece of that, forcing it into the corner. Um, Tasek kind of like trying to stay with the ball here. Doing some crazy stuff and gets a actually a decent pass right out to Falls. The splishy splash. Yep, he gets a nice little toss up there and then he passes it down and then bumps uh, Ducky out of goal, intentional or not, that lets them score there. Um, one one three forty nine minutes uh, left in the game in game two. Um, Right now, it's um, a pretty even game, I'd say. They're both exchanging shots, exchanging um, bumps, just like we saw right there. Ducky a little frustrated by people just trying to bump him around. Um, he's also human, so we have to keep that in mind before we uh, start harassing Duckworth. But um, here we see them keeping pressure in their half. And, oh, it comes straight down. And it's going to be an awkward touch for Tasek. He still goes for it. And this might cost him because he only has 12 boost here. Uh, Ducky getting a nice little touch into the middle. PJ's turning for this, but uh, gets beaten by Tasek because was Tasek was closer to the ball there. Um, the ball coming straight down. And Duckworth bumping him, making him feel like, making him feel what it feels like to be bumped all the time. Dunk getting a nice little touch into the air. Kevin passing it to the side with two people on him. And uh, Duckworth gets demoed, but Quite Killer gets a decent touch there. Nice little shot. And PJ with a pretty nasty redirect, keeping the pressure alive. Um, Tasek is just going to try and like get it out. He doesn't have much boost, and he knows somebody's pressuring, so he just tried to win or go for that touch there. Which, uh, in turn, right here, might end up in a goal for... Fisher, they're able to clear it out. Nice little touch, but not really enough to uh, be a pass. And Duckworth <laughs> with the insane touch last second, and he decides to stay in goal because he sees his 
both his teammates are ready and in, in a better position to really clear the ball out. Um, Falls gets a touch. He does not be quiet. Gets a 50. Um, Tasek beating Duck, though, and getting a nice little layoff for Falls, and he almost scores that, but um, does not succeed in it. Um, Duckworth going for it. Tasek missing the ball. The ball is in the middle right now. He beats Quiet Killer, but PJ's on the case, and he's he's just getting bumped around right now. But um, Ducky coming to the rescue there. Kevin, oh, gets blown up by Ducky, and Quiet Killer keeps the pressure on, and that's a that's a team bump right there. Uh, a little bit of a miscommunication, I think, and a mispositioning. Um, but um, right now we got a minute 17 left with um, the score still even in game two here. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see if this goes into overtime. But uh, nice little shot. Um, quite killer. Last line of defense gets a nice rebound. Fall is going to try and center it for his boy here. Nobody to follow it. Kevin gets a nice little 50 up top. And... Um, Right now, they're just playing pass plays. PJ with a nice touch following it up, and he's just going to 50 it back to Duckworth. The ball is going <clears> to <throat> the ball is gonna uh, fall into our half here, but Falls gets a nice little touch. Kevin gets a nice little shot into the corner and uh, just caught out of position, I believe. Yeah, Falls, they thought that he was going to touch it, and Kevin gets a nice little sliver of it to slot it into the bottom left corner. 2-1, 33 seconds left in game two. Um, still plenty of time to really score, like uh, almost right there, but um, still more than enough time to keep the pressure here. And All three of them are kind of in, the, in a similar zone here, and they're just trying to pressure, since they have that one goal lead, uh, the duck trying to take it over, but um, Kevin reads it, falls, comes with it, and beats beats the last line, and it's just going to score here. 3-1. Uh, game 2 is not looking too good for Shawnee here. Nope. 8 um, seconds left on the clock. It's almost it's impossible. Rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking rough. But, um... Let's see uh, if they're really able to pull out a miracle. They have to pretty much score right away, and then try to get another possession but it's looking unlikely with three seconds left here they're just gonna try and I think go on to the next game here yep that's game two um, <clears throat> going to Fisher College as well 2-0 um, in the series now still keeping it alive though keeping the rules rule zero alive being honorable and um, PJ gonna stunt out a little bit gets a nice little low touch 2-1 um, or 3-1 in game two uh, two zero in the series for Fisher College right now. Yeah, I mean, the boys aren't playing bad, but um, they're just getting caught. I I think they're just getting caught by um, by like bumps and like last man back, just not being able to hold hold their position pretty much. So um, I think they gotta look out for that more. Maybe even go on the offense a little more. Maybe try to come out with bumps of their own almost. But um. Let's see if they're um they're able to really recover if um if they lose this game here that's that's series and uh yeah it might be intentional so that we all get to go home early but um, <laughs> but at the um, same time we do hope that they pull it out of the bag I I I mean I like to say this that Shawnee is known for the reverse sweeps yeah uh, I've seen it happen in Overwatch a right. lot like, especially like last year yeah um it would be like it would be looking a little rough and then. We'd be Just there for all out. five games because yeah. we did the reverse sweep. Sometimes they do like to do that. They like. Thankfully, to play Rocket League is a lot shorter of a game. That is true, but it still can go on for a while. Cause it can. If you go into overtime every game, it gets if a little crazy. Yeah, if crazy. it goes, if it goes two two, you know that's that's four games right then in the fifth game. So it's it can still go on for like thirty minutes, which is which isn't a lot compared to other games, obviously. But for Rocket League terms, that's a Hey, at least it's not League of Legends going into game three. Yeah, no, we don't we don't play League of Legends. Uh, <laughs> Taysek, Taysek and um, Fisher already leading the charge here. Ducky taking the ball here. Kind of in a decent position here. Quite killer getting a touch on the back wall. But nothing really coming off it. Oh, he almost gets a goal because PJ was able to completely stop the ball and 
give it in a perfect position for Kevin. Um, what a pass to Ducky by Quiet Killer, but Taysek just sitting in goal at the right position. Uh, a pass into the middle, and Kevin with the beamer, but Quiet Killer with an insane save. Taysek gonna use all his boost, utilize it. Oh, and he tries to flip reset on the boys, but uh, we completely shut it out. Falls playing it back, trying to just play it into his part. PJ trying to read that off the wall, goes right under it. Uh, Ducky kind of gets messed up by Kevin's flip, but PJ with a really good pass into the middle here. Um, oh, almost getting scored on from the gap, but they were able to get that touch, which uh, allowed them to make that save right there. Um, quite killer with a touch into the middle. This could be dangerous here, but Taysek gets demoed, and that might be the end of the attack there because now it's a 3v2. Oh, quite killer. I'm not sure what exactly happened there, but... <laughs> but but Duck basically bumped into him at the end and said, here, go save that goal. Um, and it worked. Oh, and Ducky, Ducky, <laughs> almost, Ducky almost scoring an absolutely amazing Cuxer pinch. But um, in the end, it was uh, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't even matter. So uh, let's see how they uh, keep going with this game after these close calls here. Duck. Uh, leaving PJ last man behind. Now PJ with the beautiful demo, but Taysek just there and quite killer getting a decent shot, but it's it's on to two of the teammates. PJ playing a beautiful touch down to Duck, and Duck is just going to try and take it to the house here, and he just gets a flip reset and scores on the left where he sees the opening. This is what he's kind of like goaded at. He he'll take it up up top and just like play in positions you don't really expect it too much. Um, that's 1-0 with two and a half minutes left in the game three here. Um, Shawnee's definitely fighting back there. Um, there, see, like like I said before this game, they kind of needed to come up with uh, with uh, <clears throat> demolition plays of their own. But um, with, uh, Quiet Killer trying for a psycho there and then goes for a crazy demo. But... Um, gets avoided. Taysek with a shot uh, hits the bar, but PJ reads it and keeps the pressure on. Gets demoed, which is kind of BM at this point, but um, quite killer. Ooh, he tries to slot it in. PJ getting a nice touch. Gets another touch backwards, which might still work out in their favor since it's still on the offensive field. Ducky gets a pass. Falls reading it. PJ playing it down in an absolute Cute. banger. Top right gets slotted by PJ. Nice touch there, and it just goes top right. Yeah, awesome. Falls right in. Yeah, well, well slotted. We see the the goaded Hot Wheels celebration, as always. 2-0 uh, in game three, uh, with two minutes left, pretty much. Let's see what they can really make of it. Uh, right now, they're looks like they're a little desperate for a goal, since they haven't been able to score for the last three minutes, but... um. Uh, two minutes is still plenty of time to just get those two goals back without really too much of a pressure. And here's what they do. <laughs> PJ goes for the crazy demo, gets the keeper completely displaced, and Ducky just walks it in. Ducky was already scoring by the time they saw it. Yup. It's usually how it goes. They, um, they have one guy on the offense who's in charge of scoring in plays, and then another guy who completely chases down the keeper. And most of the time it works. Um, obviously in this rank, probably a little less. But if done correctly, I think even in this rank, it has pretty high uh, success rate. And Ducky with the crazy settle into the flick. And this is a perfect opportunity for them to just waste time here with 3-0 left. Um, just keep it in their offensive field. Not give them any space because they have that three-goal lead. So they don't really need to worry about triple committing as much since they already know if they just oh <laughs> they're gonna score pj anyways. with the absolute insane goal top right this is why he's the goat he just gets the touch and completely slots it and he forces it in frame one basically <laughs> basically frame one as soon as as soon as the goal was able to fit into the goal pj put it in which is uh kind of his speciality he uh oh a great touch 
Kevin there to receive it, but um, uh, here's here's their first real offensive play the whole game, and they score off of it. Uh, kind of a mirror play of what Shawnee just did. Uh, one guy chasing down the goalkeeper, displacing him, and Tasek being the goal scorer in that I mean, position. It was in that like first 20 seconds. It's like your most vulnerable period yeah, in, the, exactly. in the game is exactly. in that first 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, a position you don't have any boost. Yeah, and pretty much. It just goes like there's no one ever wow. there. Everyone's going. Oh for the my ball in the god! Middle. Falls, bumping into, t oh Tasek and completely messing up the open goal. That might, that might show that um they're very desperate with 30 seconds left and um it's not gonna really pan out the way they want it to if they keep uh, making misplays like that. Um, but. As as for Shawnee, they're they're gonna be walking away with this, I believe, with 14 seconds left in game three. Um, yeah, definitely a way more composed and aggressive game. Uh, we saw PJ going for a lot of uh, demos and success, being successful with it, which I, I, I think game. probably attributes to um, that 4-1 game. Uh, game three going to Shawnee State University. Uh, we're still alive. It's not a complete blowout again. Um, I told you we're known for that reverse sweep. Yeah, it's it's looking like it. I mean, that was a pretty pretty good game for Shawnee. They uh, came out with a different aspect. They weren't just um, sitting there and trying to open up like goals and stuff. They were kind of chasing after it. PJ was going for the demos. Ducky was doing what he does, you know, aerial battles. And Quite Killer was just the anchor, just there in case something went wrong. But um, as we see right now, they're gearing up for game four. And I believe the lobby is filling up. And um, we're about to be underway. Yeah, here we go. All right, game four. This is, um, this is still pretty much for all the marbles. If they lose here, it's... It's, um, it's over games. if they lose. Yeah, it's good. It's games. over if they win. They got another game, and then it's all on that last game. Yeah, pretty much. That's where it comes down to. Um, right off the bat, we see a similar strategy, but um, I think I think Fisher is playing a little bit more aggressive and open right now. Um, not really sure what's going on with their double commits and bumping teammates, because that's the second time that's happened where. Yep. They probably could have potentially scored a goal, but bumping. Oh, Ooh, that, that was, was crazy! Amazing fifty. That was Quiet crazy. And just the good positioning by Ducky coming Ooh. out of recovering, and he sees the opportunity and capitalizes on it, and that's one zero. Thirty five seconds into the game four, and um, yeah, they're 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 sitting kind of pretty right now, but um, they can definitely not be in a second if. Uh, we just got to oh, keep the pressure wow. on. Got to keep yeah, that Jack offense. Is definitely feeling his um, his ceiling and aerial shots right now. And PJ getting bumped. Um, Duckworth. <laughs> Duckworth getting a touch off. Right now, it's it's in the hands of of Shawnee. Um, just being left, and they're kind of just like trying to freestyle almost, but um create an opening oh and Duckworth with a crazy touch and PJ coming up passing it to the corner and uh, quite killer here is gonna pass it back and Ducky's gonna switch on that and he gets a good touch PJ here let's see what he does he um, he touches the ball and then uses his flip to recover oh and falls with the crazy wall wave dashes how is actually on, wild on some stuff bro um, is the speed of light <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. He's oh ooh, wow! And ooh, the bar ooh, down does ooh. not go in at the moment, and PJ just walking it out <laughs> sacrifices his life to save the goal. But worth. Um, <laughs> in the end, it was worth because they did not get a goal out of that. Um, Duckworth going for the low fifty here, and quite Quiet. Good getting another low fifty, almost scoring off of it. Yeah. Um, Tayset gets fifty by PJ, and Quiet is there to follow it up, and he's probably gonna go for another one, even though Kevin's already up for it. And he Misses. He actually gets bumped by Quiet Killer. Um, Quiet Killer getting a good touch, but Falls is right in position. He gets a good touch and he has a chance to double tap it. Gets bumped off by PJ, which probably saved them a goal there. Um, this is crazy pressuring. It's a 2v1 at the moment. Now it's a 2v2. It's a 2v1 again, and PJ gets demoed. 
this is definitely bad blood right here. They do not like um, our team at all. No, they're they're mad that they're in game four. Yeah, they 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 also wanted to just pack it up and go home apparently. But um, our boys are hanging in there. Um, Duck taking his time trying to get that and falls. See, here's the answer to that lightning speed again. Yeah, he's uh, wall wave dashing again. Nice little touch off quiet. Kind of saves an open goal shot there. Tasek with a good boom on the wall, which gives them a centered ball. But Quiet Killer just taking it onto the side. Probably follow it up as well. Good, good touch. Tasek not getting the best touch, but it might be intentional to just play it in their side. Duckworth gets a touch and it's in our corner. Um, Quiet Killer going to try and center this here. Weird bounce off the wall. I think he did not calculate that too well. But the ball turns around. PJ turns four. He has no boost, but he knows that he is going to be able to get that 50. Uh, Duckworth, a nice little touch onto the side. Another touch, and then another one, and then another one just to completely keep possession of the ball that whole time. Kind of giving his team a little bit of a breathing room and reset space. But here, as you can see, the ball is going to drop down. Quite clearly gets a kill. Pass into the middle, almost an absolute beam into the goal, but um, did not work out too well. Ducky getting a touch with zero boost. Uh, quite clearly getting beat here, and he's kind of caught in the middle of nowhere, and um, Falls is just going to score because PJ is left all alone in the back. 1-1 um, one, one with a minute left in game four here. This is intense because... It's getting a little scary. Yeah, as you saw there, like, um, they kind of just took the ball and ran with it because they saw the open space. But um, not a lot of opportunities this whole game for either team, to be honest. Um, they've both been pressuring pretty well. Um, that yeah. was almost just a goal, but um, luckily our defense buckled up there. Right now, it's not looking too well. It's very awkward for the team, but... There's like four shots in, on goal in like a row. Yep, some breathing space. He tries to play it off the ducky, but just under him. Uh, PJ going for it. He gets a touch onto the side. Uh, and um, the third member of uh, Fisher gets a boom. And uh, we get our boom back, and Duck tries to blow him up, but he backs up instead of going forward, which uh, was not uh, accounted for. And falls now with his stunting. Gets, <laughs> gets a little bit of a crazy speed boost there. But Ducky takes the ball off him. This might go into overtime again. It is smelling like overtime. Unless. Nope. Unless. Uh, ball's still in the air. And in this rank, as long as the ball is in the air, anything at all can happen. This is what they do. But uh, yeah, overtime in game four. 1-1. One, one. And let's see if Shawnee is able to take. Oh, that's a good force. kickoff. They're able to force a game five here. Um, goes into the middle. Oh, and a decent shot by Ducky and uh, easily saved by Kevin because of the positioning. But Ducky sees that Kevin got bumped there and he takes a slower touch and bumps another one. Uh, falls. Oh, PJ with the beautiful 50, kind of setting it up. But um, two players from Fisher were able to just. Oh, a decent pass into the middle. Quite killer up for it. And actually got the, the good touch. But, um, oh, what a beautiful pass into the middle. But nobody there, unfortunately. Um, Falls getting a boom. But Ducky reading it off the ceiling. Quite waiting here. Passes it forward to Duck. And he still has possession. He passes it back. But kind of an awkward pass, in my opinion. Um, Quite killer in back just trying to create some space here Ooh, oh. and, and that was very scary for a it's, second it's getting hard to watch it got it got extremely fast and um duckworth taking it in the middle and he's oh. going for it oh. and it comes straight down quite clear and kevin both up and kevin gets beat on the 50 and the this kevin just rolls in That's oh crazy. my god taysa gets an amazing save there falls with another good touch duckworth getting mode. that might have just saved them the game there. Uh, oh, PJ with Maybe a beautiful not. touch. And Duckworth in position at it's the moment. Back. Gets, gets his bar down. And yeah, let's go. Gets a beautiful pass. And We're going to the game five. Killer, it's anyone's game. Yeah, Quite Killer comes in from that pass, that beautiful pass, and just gets the forces game five.
So uh, a minute 37 into overtime, Shawnee takes that game. That means we are going to a game five. <laughs> we are going to game five. Yeah, like we were talking about the reverse sweeps. Uh, I told you. I predicted it. Very possible at the moment. Uh, they turned their boosters on, um, and their chemistry kind of started flowing in that, in that overtime period there. Uh, <clears throat> quite clear, kind of just anchoring with uh, the good touches and clears. Duckworth with the aerial game and PJ with uh, a combination of all three, just um, kind of passing where needed, getting the touches where needed. Um, and this is why um, this is why they play together because um, they kind of understand how they play and how they work off of each other, which is um, which is a very important aspect of team chemistry when it comes to games like Rocket League because it's not six v six, it's not five v five, it's three people. Who are completely relying on each other, which is a whole different ball game, literally. But um, yeah, that that basically forces game five, and we're into game five. <laughs> oh, and we're into game. Yeah, five. we started the game. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. all good. Yeah, it was only like ten seconds. It, yeah. But um, Ducky gets demoed here, and. Uh, the ball is still staying in Fisher's side, which is looking kind of dangerous since Ducky's already back from the demo. Uh, PJ getting a decent demo here, kind of throwing off the whole offense of Fisher here. They're, they're forced to kind of just play the ball off because they can't really risk being in that 2v3 situation for too long. Uh, Ducky playing it forward, uh, I'm not really sure what the game plan here is for Fisher, but... Um, we, I think our game plan is pretty simple. Just be on the offense and don't let them really have possession of the ball for too long. Um, but obviously, easier said than done. Um, Ducky getting a decent touch and it's gonna, just going to float in the middle. And PJ with the banger doesn't hit the bar or nothing. Just straight up an absolute beam. Uh, and Duck with the with the He was bumps. upside down. <laughs> Duck was like, yeah, you're not saving that. And PJ just with the beamer. 1-0 uh, with a minute and five second played. 355 left in game five. Uh, this is for all the marbles. Whoever wins this game wins the series. So uh, let's see if uh, Shawnee can leave tonight with a double header, double win. Because that would be the most ideal. And um, as we're saying that, uh, Fisher College just gets a similar play, but not really with the bumps, just with the the carry of the ball and then waterfall straight down onto falls um one one and they answer back in 15 seconds so um interesting to see how um both these teams are kind of reacting to the pressure they're both way faster right now oh and pj goes up for it doesn't really anticipate the ball going that far ahead but ducky gets a good little save um falls plays it back and ducky and pj both up for it Kevin gets a touch, PJ uh, reads it perfectly, passes it right to Duck, gets a pass on, and this is completely whiffing right now, and um, this is astonishing, because this you would expect this from a Diamond Lobby, not from a <laughs> GC SSL Lobby, but... They're getting tired, they're yeah, in game I guess, five. I guess, I guess it'd be like that sometimes, but um, Falls, just taking his time, doesn't see anybody pushing, gets a great 50. And this makes our defense be in a very awkward position. But PJ gets a good 50 with um, with their with falls and um, kind of clears the ball away. Um, PJ gets, I think, a flip reset there, but um, isn't able to actually flip into it. But gets a nice little stall of the ball. Um, falls bars it, cross bars it, and Kevin does the same. But um, I think this is what they're trying to do. They're just trying to make shawnee bite on these shots that look like they're going into the goal but actually are hitting in the uh, crossbar because that way they have an open goal just like that and um that makes it 2-1 game five that here. is the first goal goal from tay i think really yeah i don't think they have scored all all of the games there we go comes in when it matters Let's get to get to goal making it 2-1 in game five uh, two minutes and 15 seconds left. Shawnee have plenty of time to respond and maybe even take a lead here. Um, but maybe the pressure is getting to them just a little bit. Um, and the tiredness as well, probably. 
But, yeah. Um, yeah, they're keeping it out, but the pressure is just way too much. They're um, they're crumbling at the moment. It's three one with two minutes left in game five, and um, Fisher College has the lead. Um, like you saw right there, like they they were just in a bad position and weren't able to clear it out. So um, he was able to come in and just slot it in the in the corner, which um, we've seen many times in uh, this series actually. Uh, Duckworth getting a decent touch and he's gonna try and follow it. He gets a flip on it, um, uses it to recover faster. Double commit on that. PJ with a pass, but Duckworth just too far ahead at the moment. Duck trying to get a nice little 50, gets a 50, and quite killer turning for it. He goes for it, bumps, beats him, and PJ gonna get a beautiful touch, just a soft one, and now he's gonna go for the demo, but um, falling just short because of no boost. Duckworth beating it off the ceiling, he's gonna try and follow it up and try and make something happen here with a minute and 15 seconds left. Um, Hasek reading it, Duckworth straight into the middle and Quite Killer with the beautiful redirect to secure one goal, making it 2-3 with a minute and nine seconds left. This is a very, very intense game because um, Fisher honestly probably just needs one more goal to start wasting time. Because if if we haven't scored there, they'd probably start wasting time at this uh, at this point and just try to stall it as much as they could since they had that two goal lead. But now having just a single goal lead, they're probably going to try and secure another one right there. Yeah, and that was unfortunate because I think that hit um, one of our players' it car did. off the wall. It's a 50. Tasek hits it into the wall. It hit, it hit off Duck. Yeah, unfortunately, yep. Duck was trying to clear it outwards, and it went inwards. But uh, it's 2-4 and a minute left, and um, probably going to start doing the stall that I was talking about now unless we get a goal right right here which doesn't seem likely because quiet just got demoed but it goes right to him so maybe maybe not almost a close shot there yeah uh, Fisher kind of just doing what they were doing the first two games of the series and just um, pulling out the pressure like the immense pressure that uh, we're not able to deal with that at the moment um, but um PJ with a nice little touch to keep it away from appearing in front of the goal. Um, right now, uh, they're not really sure as to who's going to go. Um, PJ, said, <laughs> PJ said that he's going to go for Ducky to the ball, which is res respectable. Um, Ducky getting a nice little 50 here, but I think for everything, for the grand scheme, I think it might be over for... Uh, this game here, yeah, oh. yeah, didn't even score the third goal, but that is game five, Fisher College, take it, that's, um, that was a right lot, there. and, um, <laughs> yeah, that was an intense series, that's that as was far a, as it goes, that was a lot, so, um, that was our stream for today, that was, uh, all Rocket League games, uh, our <sighs> academy and varsity team, and, um, I believe we'll be back with an interview soon? Possibly, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll be back with an interview with uh one of the goats. What's up, guys? I'm here with uh, the goat Taku. Um, 
here to interview myself because everybody else left. Uh, they were pissed. But um, yeah, my thoughts on the game. Yeah, we um, the first game we uh we played pretty well. Had our um aggression and control and uh, went for the demos when needed. The second game was same and it was not a blowout. But um, in the end, we did fall a little bit short just because of um, them pressuring a little bit more. But um, all I got to really say is if I was on the varsity team, we'd probably win. But uh, maybe next year. So uh, thank you for watching our stream. And this has been Shawnee State with uh, our live stream of Rocket League. Uh, join us tomorrow for Overwatch. Thank you very much. Sorry, I lied to you guys. We actually do have an interview with the GOAT, uh, Quiet Killer, right here. Uh, so that was the last game of the season. How do you feel with your performance throughout the season? Uh, I think we did really well. Uh, Fisher's a really tough opponent, so right. taking him to game five, it felt nice. Yeah, right, because uh, you guys were down 2-0, and we were talking about it, and we were like, we're pretty good with comebacks and like getting our stuff together and kind of like reversing the games. And you brought that to a game five, which is like as close as it gets, you know? Yeah. So um, how, how are you feeling going into the qualifiers and, uh, you know, everything that's about to come for the rest of the season? Yeah, well, uh, we should really uh, do well in the last chance qualifiers. Um, we should definitely make uh, the last playoff bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, what What are some teams that are you, that you're on the lookout for? Like that you're like, oh, this team is probably going to be like a tough competition. You know? uh, well, Fisher. Right. Um, St. Charles or, or St. Clair's, that's what they're called. Right. Bad. Uh, and Northwood. Probably. Okay. Awesome. Um. Well, thank you for your double headliner tonight. Thank you for the wonderful performance. And uh, as always, Quite Killer and Taku, thank you for watching our stream. Join us tomorrow for Overwatch.